finally it came. I know it's a cheap solid state drive. And here's the iFlash adapter. I'm going to open this and take it out. I don't think it came with any instructions or anything. It just came like this. And that's all I need. And what you do is you take your iFlash as SATA and you stick it in like this. And then clips down like that. I would think for 512 gigs, it would have a lot more to it. You know what I mean? But I'll get back on it. That we'll be putting in it. Um, I'm gonna have to turn off the camera to take it apart. But, um, we're gonna be putting this. This also has a 128 gig eye flash that I'm gonna put into a six gen, and I'll put the 80 gig out of the six gen into a fifth gen. All right, here we go with the setup. What we're gonna do is, this is a six gen with an 80 gig hard drive. And this is a 7th gen with an iFlash with a 128 gig SD adapter. Or SD card, I mean. Micro SD card with an SD adapter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in my laptop and format it. Because it's going from 7th gen to 6th gen, so it won't just work out of the box. Or actually, let me leave that out. But what you got to do is I'm going to take this out first. And this is the 80 gigabyte hard drive for the 6th gen classic. And I'm going to put this in a 5th gen. Or I'm going to put this in a 5th gen video. I can't have to find it. This one right here, which I'll show you that. And so I got it out. Jesus, switch. I gotta replace the freaking, what's it called? The um, front case, it's all scratched up. So I'm not ready with the SD card yet, but I gotta put this in for now.
Something else is gonna be 512 gigs. Here, remember, I gotta format this. Now, this might be incredibly slow. I'll come back to it. Restarting. <laughs> Gotta make sure I get that hair or else. All right, let me copy. Look at this. We are all set. Look at your new iPod. Continue your new iPod. Sinking iPod. Look at that. I don't know why it still says this. Look at this, 400s. Just look at this, look at this. This is insane. <laughs> it worked. All right. All right, so while I'm waiting for my iPod to sync, might as well take apart this. I know you probably can't see what I'm doing. All I'm doing is putting the hold button and the hold switch in the um, headphone ribbon cable in place. And I'm going to put this back down. That's a good sign. So we'll have 128, 512, and 80. 
This one's still got the hard drive. These are iFlash. This is hard drive. Lights, lights up. It's kind of cool. Sinking. It is still freaking sinking. I wonder how far it is. All right. Welcome to your new iPod. See, these can't read more than a certain amount, so I'm wondering if you'll I think it's 120 gigs, so it probably won't read. Well, it does. It does read it. Okay. Again, this has the 128 gig SD card. I'm going to update the front and back and stuff. It weighs almost nothing. This one's a little heavier because the SSD and... You shouldn't do this. I tried putting the 80 gig hard drive in this out of this 6th gen. We get new custom fronts and backs for all of these. Here you go. I did the uh, SSD mod. And, um, you know, I couldn't get the black 5th gen with the 80 gig hard drive. I just kept restoring it and it just would not restart. I tried everything. Um, the silver one, I gotta replace the front back, and then I'll do a battery upgrade video, and I might do a one terabyte one of these, and I'm gonna fix one for somebody. So, um, if you like this kind of stuff, hit like, maybe subscribe, leave some feedback. Um, more videos to come, higher tech stuff to come, and more interesting things. Um, one thing I've noticed is the SSD battery is a little less. But, we'll make further videos. Thank you.